the section 4.4 start here is okay it's about the business applications right the whole thing is about using the derivative to find the answer if we are talking about the cost we're going to minimize the cost and what kind of the cost that we are uh, working on for this problem is about the inventory cost for the business and part of it uh, we're going to determine the price that to be charged for the product in order to maximize the revenue as you see the key term maximize minimize minimize the cost maximum the revenue what should be the amount that um, can be produced or what should be the uh, the price that the company should to charge for the product to get the maximum revenue something along that line and also maximum the profit okay key term maximum minimum and uh, it's going to be involving the cost function, revenue function, profit function. For the cost function that we're going to look at for the first part of the section 4.4 is about the inventory cost. And the inventory cost is the sum of the storage cost and the ordering cost. So when you set up the cost function, it's going to be the sum of these two portions. The first portion or the storage portion would be from the fee, the warehouse fee, the entrance, and so forth. The ordering is based on you know when you order the product, you order them. Okay, going to be two portions that combine to be the inventory cost. So that's the the mo the most critical part of the problem. If you set up the the problem wrong or get the wrong equation to work on, even though you know how to find the derivative, you are working on the wrong problem and you will not get the right answer unless you know you are lucky for that problem. Anyway, the ideal condition for this, um, for the inventory cost to be manageable. So the total sales for the year should be known. The same numbers for item are sold each day until all items in the inventory are sold. So kind of keep it in the ideal situation, no change, no flexible and no variable more variables going on in the in the content of the of the situation so then <clears throat> the inventory is depleted linearly linearly that means if if for today next can be two and then go on like kind of decreasing in the linear way like kind of if you plot it's going to be the relationship at the straight line and orders are for the same number of items at regular time period so when you order like throughout the year, if you order every three months, then we exactly three months order once, exactly three months order once and so forth. So, so those kind of numbers that we're gonna have to use to put together as an equation. All right, how to form the equation or the function for the cost or the inventory cost. So we're gonna get the first portion from the storage, okay, storage cost, and the other one from order. I put a note here, the first part here from the storing part, okay, storage. And then the second part here from ordering. For the storing part, it's going to be the cost, like the storage cost per item, okay, per item. And how many items do you have to multiply that number to the cost per item? And why is x over 2 on the formula? Because we use the average because for each time period, so we assume in the ideal case, in the ideal case that the inventory is depleted linearly. So that means at the beginning of the period, you have the full inventory, and at the end of the period, it's all gone. Okay, midway is the the average number is x over two. If you want to 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 put like one lot like x units for the whole period of the time, it will be used. It will be gone. So that means from the beginning, you have X and at the end, you get zero. So find the midway, which is X over two. So gonna be the average of X over two items in the storage for each period or each ordering period. So then the portion for the storing cost gonna be storage cost per item multiplied by X over two, okay, X over two. And then the second part gonna be the, from the ordering. So the cost per order, and the total order divided by X, X is the number of the orders per year. I mean, X is the lot size per order, kind of in one order, how many, how many items you're gonna order. So for the entire year, so the total orders, like 
how many for the entire year and then divided by the lot size. So we're gonna come up with the number of the orders per year. So number of the orders multiplied by cost per order. So this portion combined to be the cost or the inventory cost. Okay, this is a setup for the problem involving the cost. And the idea of this is to minimize the cost value, all right? <clears throat> so based on this, I put in the box as the summary of the formula, the CX represent, representing the cost, the storage cost per item multiplied by X over two okay, as the average per, per, one, per one lot. And then added by cost per order, uh, multiplied by total order divided by X, X is the lot size. And uh, let's work through the example together. Okay, from this one, see what we have in the problem. The furniture dealer sells, I'm going to highlight a key term and then make a list and put them together for you, okay? So we have the, the number, the 500 this per year. So that means the entire year, there's 500 desks. So there's take up floor space, the warehouse space. The dealer estimates his storage cost at $6 per desk. The distributor charges the dealer 60 dollars fee for each order as how many times per year and in what lot size would the dealer order to minimize the inventory cost your goal is to minimum the value of the cost okay and ask two things the first thing is how many times per year so how many orders per year 500 oh no 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 not uh, I mean, the number of the orders, but the total, yes, the total throughout the year is going to be 500, but depends on how many times you're going to order as a total of 500. So that's uh, that what it's asking for for this part. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. And the other one is what lot size. So it's going to be two things. Okay. And these two numbers, when you multiply, you're going to get 500. Does it make sense? So if, if X, so I'm gonna uh, start with making assumption. Let's X be the number uh, of lot size, okay? So if for the entire year, gonna be the total of 500 deaths, that means 500 divided by X gonna be uh, the marker, number of orders per year. Does it make sense? So X is the number of the, the deaths per one lot. And then how many lots you can order per year? Can it be 500 divided by X? Okay, so if X is the number of the lot size, so then X over two is the average um, inventory. Okay, so from this assumption, we have two things, x and 500 over x. Next, we're going to form the equation of the cost or the function, the cost function. So then the inventory cost going to be from the storage part, storage plus ordering cost. Okay, for the storing, for the storing portion in one lot, I mean, in, in one, one time, like per order, the storage per order going to be uh, his storage cost $6 per desk. So six, I should put the notation here first, I mean, the explanation. So this is a storage cost. Yeah, I did it. Let me rewrite it. The per item or per desk and multiply by the average um, inventory. Okay. And then plus for the ordering part of it, going to be the cost per order and multiply by the number of order per year. All right, from the setup here, do you guys have question? So now we have the cost function 
from 6 multiplied by x over 2 plus 60 times 500 over x. And this is the inventory course. Okay, based on this cost function, our goal is to find out how many times per year. So that means how many orders per year. So that is number of orders per year, which is 500 divided by x, where x is the lot size. By x and 500 divided by x. So our goal is, oops. By x and 500 divided by x that minimize the cost. Okay, that's the goal. The key term minimum, that means that's the local minimum value from the skill problems. So to minimize, we're going to start with finding the derivative okay, as a routine to find the local max, local min. Okay, in this case, local max, local min. And then, oh, by the way, do we have the interval of the x value? Like what would be the minimum x that we can order? What would be the maximum x that we can order? What do you think? Um. Maybe one 500 at a time, or then 500 times. So for the one for the whole whole year, for the entire year, the goal is to order 500, right? So that yeah. means mm -hmm, so the x could be anywhere between, well, you can have like, actually zero cannot be happened. So anywhere from one to uh, 500. Yes. Okay. So that pretty much the bow or the, the close interval for this problem. So instead of finding the local minimum, you're gonna find the absolute minimum because we have the app, uh, we have the close interval provided. You have the bound of the X, you don't have the open end. You know what I mean? Like some problem, the domain is a set of our real numbers. So it's is no ends, no left end, no right end. But this time we just look at just the portion of the graph, anywhere between one and and five hundred, because that's a total that we can order in one year. So your goal, your real goal, is to find the x that give you the absolute absolute minimum cost 